What's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video I've got two more examples of the mysterious waving leaves on trees that appear to be moving for unknown reasons and they go for sometimes days on end without stopping. Got two more videos to share with you guys that have been sent in recently. Also in this video I've got a brand new picture slideshow. Really cool sky phenomena photos that have been sent in from all around the world. But first here at the website, quick look at the Schumann Resonance. All in all, pretty quiet. A little bit of background noise, not much to speak of. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Dark blue indicates some form of magma intrusion. Red vertical lines indicate earthquake activity. More than likely, this is from the recent global activity. However, we do see some localized activity up here at Mammoth Vault and down here at Little West Thumb. Some earthquake activity, albeit small, but never Nevertheless, you're talking about earthquake activity at a super volcano. I've been over here to nullschool.net checking in on the Sahara sand situation. And you can see yet another large plume coming off the west coast of Africa, getting ready to make that transatlantic journey. That's 4,000 miles. It will travel over the course of the next probably 10 days. And that will definitely interfere with the formation of hurricanes out here in the Atlantic Ocean and Caribbean Sea, quite possibly up into the Gulf of Mexico. You can see one trying to get going right now but it's just struggling it's not going to be much it may be a tropical depression quite possibly a tropical storm if that when it makes landfall but other than that don't expect a whole lot of hurricane activity as long as all this sands out here because this layer of sand in the atmosphere definitely interferes with the mechanics of tropical storms looking at the power outage situation over here at poweroutage.us and you can see there's still over 250,000 customers without electricity in Michigan. That's how strong those winds were five days ago that took out power to over 800,000 customers. They're still trying to get the lines back up on the poles and you can see as we go in for a closer look primarily the counties in the southern part of Michigan are the ones that are still dealing with the power outages and it could be a few more days yet before they get the power back on. Those were some very strong storms that went through the region. Overall the sun's pretty quiet except for a huge solar prominence up here on the, the northeastern limb of the sun that is turning towards the Earth right now as I do this video. Here it is in a slightly different format. And you can see just how large that is. That is a surface storm, basically, that could erupt at any time, sending a CME out into space. And if it does have an eruption here in the next couple of days, it could be Earth-directed. Here's another unique look at that very large solar prominence that is 10 times larger than planet Earth. We'll be keeping a close eye on that in the coming days. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomenon photos sent in from all around the world. This one here is really neat out of Salem, Oregon by Brian D. There was something back behind that pine tree. It's a cloud formation. I'm assuming it's clouds, but it just so happens to look like an airplane with very large wings, an incredibly large wingspan. Again, this is supposed to be just random clouds in the sky, but they don't look very random. That's what compelled Brian to take the photos that he shared with me from Salem, Oregon. Have you guys ever seen anything like that? Strange configuration above Salem, Oregon that definitely does not look like its neighbors. Next photos were sent in by Adam Inn out of Cortis Lakes, Arizona. These were from a monsoon that recently went through the state of Arizona. We've had a few here in the last several days, and we can always use rain. Rain is always welcome out here in Arizona. Photo here sent in by Chris V out of Belgium. In fact, he sent in several photos. This one here, this cloud just looked out of place. It almost looks out of focus. The rest of the clouds look in focus. This one here looks like some sort of a horizontal oval in the sky. Looks out of place. Again, it looks kind of fuzzy compared to the rest of the clouds. That's what compelled him to take the photo. Here it is in a different format and you can see it just doesn't like the photo from Salem, Oregon. Doesn't look like it's neighboring clouds in the sky. Looks like some sort of a structure like this photo here. Looks like a big triangle craft up in the sky 
above Belgium. Chris has been seeing a lot of interesting things in the skies above Belgium here recently. Here's yet another one in a slightly different format. And you can see it just doesn't look like a typical cloud. It doesn't look random at all. It almost looks like it has intelligent origins. Here's another one. Looks like some sort of a vent, circular vent up in the sky with a tube coming out of it. Here's another one of those objects in the sky with no wings. Look at that. White cylinder with no wings. He sent in three photos of that object as it was flying over Belgium. And these are unedited exactly the way I received them. He happened to notice that in the sky, and that's what compelled him to take the photo. Roscoe from right out here in Gilbert. Spectacular sunrise from Four Peaks. Luis C. out of El Paso, Texas. Sky being influenced by wildfire smoke and Sahara sand. Awesome orange color. This next segment here was sent in by Ryan D. I'm not exactly sure of the location. All I know it was in the sky during a storm, and he happened to notice in his video this object or it looks like an object in the middle of all that lightning looks like some sort of a small ship sitting in the sky and lightning static electricity bouncing off of the little ship there in the sky really good observation by Ryan D Barbie and Dave out of Connecticut sent in this photo of a very ominous looking shelf cloud above Connecticut that was super low to the ground photos here sent in by Carol out of New Mexico very unique sky here got all kinds of unusual colors going on in the proximity of the sun on that day above new mexico all right guys here we go the waving leaves have returned we're going to start off down in georgia with a video sent in by scott from july 26th i just noticed this this morning after watching the video last night i have no idea what that is Notice the leaves around the moving branch that are not moving or barely moving at all compared to the one that Scott was focused on. Here I put it in fast forward just to show how strange this really was. See how fast that branch is moving compared to the rest of the leaves? They're not even moving at all, basically. That's in fast forward, obviously. But it just shows you how weird that really and truly is. That's one observation from Georgia. Here's yet another sighting with narration sent in by Heather. Heather D, also July of 2021. That one never moves. It's just this one. There's a light breeze, but this will happen with or without a breeze. I don't really know what it is, but it just stands out so much. For a while, we thought maybe it was a gopher, yanking on the roots of that, trying to get it out. But then it'll just stop and come back and so bizarre. This has been going on for quite a while. They thought it was a gopher digging in the ground, disturbing the roots. Here it is in fast forward like I did the other video, just to show how out of sync it is with its surroundings. It is moving very, very fast compared to everything else. That is not the wind because the wind is blowing ever so slightly, but not that fast. And again, this has been going on for quite some time. 
She just happened to take a video of it on this day of yet another mysterious waving tree. Thanks for the photos and videos, guys. Keep them coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. And be safe out there.